Hello and welcome to Two Minute Design. I'm Dage and today we're gonna learn about the greatest, most important tool in Photoshop, the pen tool. So first up, dude, I've opened the spoon picture in Photoshop. You can download it using the link in the description. Our goal is to remove the background and keep the spoon. And we'll do that using the pen tool, which is this guy over here. Once you activate it, just make sure path is selected from this drop down menu here. I will zoom into this area here. And I will click once on the edge of the spoon to create what we call an anchor point. I'll move the cursor over there and click once again to create another anchor point, thus creating a straight line path. Now, as you can see, there is a curve here. To create a curved path, you can simply click and drag. Now, this is a curve, but what the heck are these? Well, these are called direction lines. They control the shape of the curve. To adjust their position and length, you can simply hold down the control or command key and then drag the direction point. Notice how the length and the position of the direction line affects the curve. Let's add another curve here by clicking and dragging using the pen tool. Add another one here, another one there, and so on and so forth until you hit this part of the spoon. I will move the cursor over the corner here and click and drag to create a curve. Now here's the problem. If I go here and drag to create another curve, I will end up with an S-shaped path. Not good. Now if you think about it, this direction line is creating the unwanted curve here. So I need to find a way to change the shape of this curve. If I use Ctrl or Command and drag this point, I will be changing the shape of this curve as well, which is not what I want. Well, in this case, you should hold down Alt or Option instead. The cursor temporarily changes into the Convert Point tool. And now you can control this handle independently. So let's undo and remove this anchor point here. Hold down Alt or Option and drag this handle just like that. And here's a tip, if you go up here, click this gear icon and check rubber band, you'll be able to see how the curve will look like even before placing the anchor point. Pretty cool, huh? So move on until you reach the first anchor point that you created. When you hover your mouse cursor over it, you'll see a small circle appear. That means you're closing the path. I'll just click and drag to create my final curve. Now I have a completed path that can be easily converted to a selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Enter. Finally, you can click this button to create a layer mask that completely hides the background. 